Welcome to Monday in the Showgirl Shimmy. I hope you're doing all right. I've had an interesting morning so far. So let's shake off some shit, shall we? Starting feet, hip width apart. Uh, let's first just bend and bend. Gently warm it up before we go into some big shimmies and bounces to help us release anxiety, frustration, children who won't do their schoolwork, any of those kinds of things. <sighs> Enjoying that movement, feeling your body start to soften as it warms up. Endeavoring to keep that tailbone pointed down and your weight balanced between your legs. Nice, release that, let's just do some Gentle twists here, maintaining a little bit of control just so you don't hurt yourself. By letting the rotation bring your arms around. Starting to warm up your sides and your core. And also keeping it a little bit loose. I think a little bit loose it might be the watchword of this, this uh, the phrase of this week. All right, taking it up to the chest. We're just gonna slide from side to side. Go gentle, no need to force. If you want a little bit more width between your legs, go for it. Nice. Coming to center, we're gonna push our chest forward and then bring it back. So the elbow's not helping. Maybe going along for the ride. But the movement is chest, coming back and forward. Just enjoying that space there. Nice, and while we're here, let's just take a nice deeper bend in the legs now and pull the pelvis forward and back. Using the low abs. So we don't want our booty to engage or help too much here because when we shimmy, we wanna keep it loose and jiggly. Nice. And then let us kinda of just paw through our feet. So roll up the ball of one foot, feel that delicious stretch, push it down, roll up to the other, push that down, and just alternate, getting the weight even in your feet as you come forward, so not leaning too far on the inside of one foot or the outside, so check that it's coming up right through the middle. That might require you engaging your adductors, your inner thighs, or even your adductors out here on the outer thighs, just to keep things nice and lined up. Nice. Ooh, feel the bottom of my feet stretching. How is it for you? Good, I hope. All right. So let's get some shimmies going and then maybe we'll get into some juicier movements. So nice bend in the knees. Um, start. Let's start with a vibration first because this is kind of just easy and nice for the whole body. So straightening just a little bit, uh, not fully locking out the knees. Go faster, probably a little bit smaller. Things start to jiggle. Your booty, your chest, your arms your voice. If you're by yourself and you feel comfortable, or even if you're with people, you can make a little noise here. Ah, just releasing it out. It feels so good just to shake off the anxieties, right? Sometimes we're anxious and we don't know why. Sometimes other people are angry because they don't understand the homework they need to do and they put it on you. Are you noticing the theme? Shake it off. You don't need to hold it. Can't help yourself, can't help anybody else if you're hanging on to 
those kinds of anxieties, right? I'm going to be able to use it to work for us. Uh, I know I'm shaking a lot. There's been a lot of crap coming at me. Enjoying that. Nice. Now let's take it into opposite legs. Oh, my legs are like jellying. It feels really great. So bending one and then the other leg, and we're going to push back behind us. So back, 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 back. And you can keep your feet a little wider apart as you speed up and go smaller and get the jiggle all over. Or you could try stepping your feet in a little closer. Whatever feels good for you. On stage, I prefer to have my feet closer together. I like the hourglass shape that it makes. But whatever feels good for you, honestly. What feels good is what's going to look the best. <laughs> If you're feeling comfortable in that shimmy, go ahead and rub your hands up your body. Do a nice gliding touch. You can outline yourself. Get a little bit of framing in. Enjoy the touch. Enjoy the shimmy. Letting it travel all over you. Nice. Release that. Shake the legs out a little bit long. Should have some good heat in there right now. Let's try a little side to side shimmy. So not one that we do very often, uh, probably because it requires more work. And um, if you haven't sorted this out now, I go for less effort wherever I can. But um, so we're gonna just hips go to the side, right through the middle, not real big. And we're gonna speed them up. So we're going boom, 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 boom. Nice side to side motion. It requires a lot of effort. So this will burn up any crap that's still left over, right? Yeah, getting it. Woo! Feeling it. Nice, all right, release that. Uh, we're gonna do chest and then we're gonna do one other sort of shimmy that I don't think I've ever taught online so that's kind of fun you tuned in today and you're getting the first time of something so hands crossed we're gonna go to the chest do keep a bend in your knees and then rotating here rotating around the spine head stays forward pelvis stays forward as much as possible it's just the chest and then we're gonna take our arms our hands to the tops of our shoulders so that we're lifting underneath our arms and our armpits and I'm gonna extend my arms now <laughs> as I go smaller and tighter so notice that I have a curve like I'm hugging a tree I'm not putting my arms straight out to the sides I want to give a little bit of dimension and I want to keep this structure up here. So not so important if you're just like shaking it and having a good time, but if you want to twirl tassels, you need to keep this structure. And then try stepping a little bit with it. See if that helps you keep it loose, even as you move quickly. Woo. Nice. Circle your arms, releasing that, coming forward. All right, so we're going to try a little twisty shimmy kind of thing, which, uh, so imagine that you've got fringe on, and this is going to make your fringe go back and forth, really in a really fun way. So. This is easier, I think, with your hips or your feet closer together on this particular move because then it gives your hips more range of movement. So bend in the knees and we're gonna rotate. Trying just to rotate the hips. Your chest might come along for the ride a little bit. And we 
go smaller and faster and smaller and faster. Ooh, that just adjusted my back. Getting all the things right here. So my arms are wiggling a little bit, but I'm not going like this. Not doing like the, the twist. It's happening in the hips. Maybe I'll just put these out of the way. Here. <laughs> nope. It's gonna have to be here. So back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Woo! Yes. Super warm now, right? Oh. All right, so now that we're a little bit warm, let's just mush here a bit. So shoulder rolls back as knee bends over. Stretching out some of those. So have fun playing with those. I'm gonna work on a Shinny's Tassels and Assholes video for our burlesque solo series in a moment. And depending on how it is, maybe I'll make it available to everyone. But you just got the basis of it. Nice. All right, let's do some more ooey gooey movement, right? Now we like shimmied off some crap. Let's like feel good in our bodies. So let's start, we'll start top down. So chest, so coming forward like we did before, side, back, side, forward, side, back. So we kind of got a box and now we're gonna smooth it out. So take your time and focus more on rounding out the box. Not about the speed that you go around, not even about how far, how far out your body goes. That happens over time as you keep doing it, your muscles get stronger and you have more space in your body. Nice, pause. And let's go back the other way, so forward. Side, back, side. And smooth out your box. And you might find one side easier than the other very normal. If you want them to be a little bit more balanced, you can work a little extra on the side that's more difficult for you. Nice. Ah. Let's rotate our shoulders back a little bit. Releasing any holding in the neck and shoulders coming from our chest moves. I notice sometimes when I'm learning something new or I'm focusing, I get tight in my neck and shoulders. So just check in there, see if that's going on for you. I'm sure we don't need any additional tightness there. <laughs> and then let's do one back and one back. Let your knees go, let your hips go. Mush in there. not a particularly organized way of moving right here. It's just letting your body flow the way it wants to. Trust that it knows what to do. Just getting the mushing. Nice, all right, let's take it now down to our hips and our abs to get some more bushing and circling there, really juice ourselves up. So we've got some power to get through the day, right? Sometimes it takes a little extra. So we're going to push forward. So I'm coming forward and then out to the right, navel to spine and then the side. So we're eventually making a box on the ground beneath us. And then we're gonna circle it out. Do make sure you pull in your navel when you come back. Nice. And let's pause.
is in the center, belly comes forward, side, pull it back, side. Box the other way. Nice, and then circle out your box. So rounding it out, go slow through any areas that are tight or clunky. Give them some extra love. do basically the same move but with our, our feet a little bit further apart and some more bend in the knees so we can really get more uh, rocking and move the swirling in the pelvis so we're kind of like cleaning a bowl with our pelvis or stirring the pot if you will so bending a little bit here my feet are a little bit turned out you can experiment with having them straight on or a little bit turned out if a deeper turnout is comfortable for you, go for it. So I'm gonna push my pelvis forward and bring it up. So now I'm going into kind of that rocking motion that we did before. I'm actually gonna use the low abs to bring the pelvis up, doing this. So coming up, push it out to a side. Notice bent, more straight. Coming back, opposite, bent, a little bit more straight. And tipping the pelvis up. Making that box. Nice, and now let's circle it out. Ooh, hopefully that feels really good. Rocking it around. Just keep those abs engaged, especially when you go back. You don't wanna hurt your low back. And then it's like a saucy bonus feels good workout. And the other way, box first. <sighs> Enjoying that juicy movement. Circle it out. swings here kind of like we did before give it a little sass if you like if you want it to be a little bit more sharp when you get to one side grab the glue so squeeze squeeze so you get a little hit when it goes over and you get a glute workout Swirly twirly because it feels good. So we're slink sauce as I often call it Same same body position really, but we're gonna try circling just over one leg So I'm gonna kind of pull it back push it in Follow my foot. I'm coming up and then send it around. So now the circle is happening just in that leg and the other leg kind of helps push it around. Yes, enjoying that circling. I find it easier to start here, push around to the back, but just for fun, we're gonna try it the other way. So push back and bring it around. Everyone's body is different, and you may find one way works better than the other for you. Ah, yeah, some gooey stuff. All right, let's try the other leg. So first kind of pulling in, pushing back. Wow, that leg is, that leg's the opposite. It's easier to go backwards to begin. Bodies are fun. Observe what's good for you. Nothing's right. Nothing's 
long as you're not hurting yourself, right? Pain is the only no-no here. Otherwise, the rest of it's just an exploration about what works for you in your body today. Yeah. Other way. Yeah, my leg does not really want to go this way. Interesting. You need to explore that more. <sighs> nice. I'm feeling so much happier in my body. I hope you are too. Will you tell me if you are? It's weird sometimes just talking to a camera and not being around people. Send me messages, let me know how it's going. All right, let's try feet really close together now. We're gonna go for our tight circle after I get a drink of water, because that's what's happening today. It's finally clear here in Portland because it rained, and now it's really humid. So fun. All right, so feet pretty close together for this. Nice deep bend in the knees. Check in to make sure your chest is still nice and lifted. Sometimes we start to hunch over as we go, so definitely need to stay elevated here so that there's room for your pelvis to move. So real low here, just like we did that front and back, we're gonna pull forward, then we're gonna pull up in the oblique here. So the hip is kind of coming to the rib. We're gonna release it, and then we're gonna pull on the other side. So front, side, release, side, front, side, release, side. All right, now go for circling it. So the circle is happening more on the camera now. Make sure your ribs and shoulders are lifted, not collapsing. Feet are staying on the ground. challenging or weird don't worry it is a weird movement so it's just the pra a practice kind of a thing you just keep doing it over and over and over so pulling forward lifting up here releasing lifting up forward release sorry side forward side release side forward side let's do one more box and now we're gonna smooth it out. So circle happening on the camera. That way. Definitely have the way my body prefers to do this. Sometimes it just takes over without me realizing it. All right, beauties. Nice, and now, before we sit down and do our cards, just take a moment and, uh, music's perfect, feeling you. Feel it, feel yourself. Move ooey gooey where it's nice for you. No organized plan. Just feel good in your movement. You can kind of use the, the swirls and the gooey to massage things out if something's stuck. Try some of our different swirls. We'll go into some shimmies. Feel your shimmies. You could even circle your shimmies. Tight. Whew. 
so good, yeah? I hope that felt good for you. So wherever you are, feel free to stretch out. We didn't do as much stretching today. We did a lot more heating up and moving. Um, I hope that was good for you. I just needed to move around and release the crap. So our last moon card was uh, new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So curious if that played out in an interesting way with anyone felt like for me a week where I was being pulled in many directions and really needed to try and nurture myself and it was hard it was actually really challenging to have to nurture myself I don't know so much shift and change going on certainly mourning the passing of RBG amazing amazing woman we're all so blessed to have had in our world at all thinking about <laughs> that she's gone but also the amazing things that she did and how giving and wonderful she has been and so a real inspiration and mentor to a lot of women so epitome of giving there right all right lovelies so sending through your hmm, okay one way to shuffle it, just toss them around. Sending through your desires for guidance. <sighs> Which moon card? We're doing the moon cards for Mondays now. Our goddess cards will be back Thursday. And I'm sorry, I missed being with you last Thursday. Um, the smoke in my studio is just too much. But we're cleared out now. This coming Thursday is on. All the moons want us right now. It's like every every moon in here. All right. Oh, it's fun. We got a waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Let that be energy for positive change that supports more people in our world. Hmm? So ready for that. <laughs> So waxing moon. Getting there, getting there. No, no. Let's just skip past it. This is certainly making me learn all of the moon phases tell you that, get real clear on them. I feel like it should have just been here. So waxing. Oh. No? Not it. Huh, okay. Do, 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 do. Enjoy the music while I figure it out. There we go. Alright. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. This card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. This is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where, where do you want to go and what and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome, or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps toward your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. Attuned to the moon, I know I'm heading in the right direction. Additional meanings, situation is full of potential. Your dream can come true. More effort is yet required. Are you willing to give it? 
Review your goals and ensure you're still committed. Keep moving forward. The waxing cycle is the period of the lunar cycle from new moon to full moon. So we're actually in that right now. And during this time, the moon appears to be slightly bigger and rounder every night. This is a very empowered and empowering time, and this is a very promising card. It suggests now is the time to make plans and to act on them, no matter when you actually pull the card. All right, so doubly blessed here, right? We've got the card, we've got the actual waxing moon happening right now. So, lovelies, if you would like, share what you're working on, share what you're wishing to bring into being. Sharing and witnessing, um, sharing is giving a big commitment and putting it out into the world, making it more real. And um, having it be witnessed and held by other people is supportive and nurturing and who knows, maybe one of these lovely people we're connected to can support you in your, in your dreams and your goals. You never know. We have a really wonderful opportunity to network with each other. And I really believe the more that women connect, the better our world will be. So, um, Waxing Moon, I'd love to hear about how it's going for you. Tonight, I'm very excited, is the start of our Get to Act Your Act Together series. So for more experienced performers who would still like a uh, place to be accountable and supported and um, have a little bit of a time container on developing an act. So if that is you, we still have a few more spaces. You can find more information on showgirltemple.com or I'd be happy to answer questions. And Thursday, we start an act development series for brand new or newer solo burlesque performers um, who like want a little bit more instruction and guidance and nurturing. So um, also information for that on the website. And if you've been thinking about jumping into burlesque, what a great time, right? You've got plenty of time to work on an act and get it all dialed in before you're stepping on stage. Uh, usually it's very rushed and quick to get to stage, but, but this, you know, you can work on it and then have time afterward to, to keep polishing it. Uh, so I'd love to dance with all of you. Um, I'll be back again Thursday with more sassy movement. Love to hear from you about how it's going for you, how the movement is helping you. Um, and you know, if you have more questions about burlesque or confidence or things like that,